Hello guys and Merry Christmas! So it's your girl Lumata, the one loved and amazingly, marvelously spoiled by God. In this video, we will be talking about Christmas in Cameroon, in bracket Africa versus Christmas in Germany, in bracket Europe. Before we get into the video here, yeah, please do subscribe to the channel so we grow and have fun together. You can find that in the red box down below, it's written um, subscribe or sabonne, abonnieren and beside it you've got a little bell where you can click so you get a notification whenever I post I try to upload a video every week so yeah thank you very much before coming home yeah I called my kid brother asking him what do you want for Christmas and this dude tells me I want you to come home so we eat together and have family time and exchange gifts I just want you to be around and I'm just like how cute how kind of mature because guys when I was nine years old family time for what like <laughs> it never ever crossed my imagination never in case you don't know I am a Cameroonian and I was born in Cameroon and I have spent Christmas in Cameroon as a child. I can't e remember exact things I was doing, but I have the highlights of what we used to do. I know that sounds contradictory, but let's just go ahead and see. Maybe you can relate to me. When I think of these things, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. So the first thing that <laughs> was not my reality at all, spending Christmas as a child in Africa is Santa Claus. Excuse me, who is Santa Claus? Who is Father Christmas? Growing up, for me, those people did not exist. Yeah, that was not my reality. And in fact, I was happy. I did not, I didn't even think about gifts. I didn't think about receiving something or giving something. Mm -mm. Maybe now things have changed, or maybe for the super, super, super rich people, they were giving their kids gifts. But as for me, I did not receive any gift and I was happy. I was fine. And yeah that's it but in europe it's different it's a tradition that you give gifts to your loved ones or to your family you gather you um, exchange gifts and i remember even when i was going to school when we go to school it's even a topic like in january after christmas we're like what did you receive and if you didn't receive anything jesus it's like you had the most miserable christmas ever but growing up in cameroon in fact the gift it's something that did not even exist in my vocabulary like gifts for what you know so santa claus father christmas whoever it is giving gifts did not exist okay i think what i could look back and say okay this was a gift is new clothes and shoes if you do not have christmas clothes we call it christmas dress even though it's not a dress like a gown but we call it christmas dress if you never had a christmas dress please when the cool kids are talking don't even open your mouth like there's this tradition in cameroon and i think in many other i think in nigeria and in ghana is the same that your parents buy you new clothes and new shoes on christmas day and you put it on and that was just such a big deal if you never had a christmas dress or christmas shoes then you never had christmas it was just like you are the you are an outcast. I don't know how to put it, but there was such a hype around Christmas clothes and Christmas shoes. I remember I mostly used to spend my Christmas with my cousins and we would purposely, would purposely go for the third mass or second mass. Why? Because there are many people, you know, a lot of people are going to see our Christmas clothes and our Christmas shoes. In fact, after mass, we want to walk home. So many people, <laughs> So people will see our Christmas clothes and our Christmas shoes because come to, why should you go for seven o'clock mass on a Christmas day? Like who is going to see your clothes? Who like you need to show it off? You need to. Everybody has to see your clothes. So we used to go for the second or third mass, and um, after mass we want to greet everybody so we can showcase our clothes and our shoes. As a girl on Christmas day, a little girl, if you didn't have a mommy tie my belt. I don't know what they bought for you. You know, mommy tie my belt is these dresses that they've got two ropes behind and they tie it behind. Like that was just such a thing. Like you just sit in your little gown and you're just feeling yourself. <laughs> Lange Rede kurze Sinn. If you didn't have a Christmas dress and Christmas shoe, then you never had Christmas. You cannot count that as Christmas. 
but here in Europe who thinks of Christmas clothes I mean you're even going to be indoors and you probably spend the Christmas in your socks and in just house clothes except you want to take pictures then you put on something different but <laughs> Christmas clothes and Christmas shoes don't even apply like if you still do that then it's really I won't say it's weird but that's that's strange <laughs> coming to Christmas preparation the most known Christmas preparation in Europe is buying gifts at least for my family we buy gifts and for me and my friends we buy gifts we exchange gifts and well for some kids they're big um, they bake biscuits, they bake um, gingerbread and they just bake stuff and you decorate a Christmas tree and that's it. And in Europe children have this advanced calendar, not just children, like if you work sometimes at your job site you've got a calendar and in this calendar from the first day of December you can remove chocolate or just different things. When I was small in Cameroon, who, what is advanced calendar? like? Who, who, like, it is just something that does not exist, like, baking biscuits, baking, like, you as a child, you have nothing to look for in the kitchen, you have nothing, you don't even touch the oven, okay, you're just supposed to wait, you sit, and then they send you around to go do this, to go do that, and you're happily running, <laughs> you're happily running to do it. In Cameroon, our preparation was centered around food was centered around food first of all they're gonna buy an animal let me just use chicken they're gonna buy a fowl or many fowls and we will feed the fowl come and see we will be feeding we'll give a lot of food a lot of corn to this fowl so the fowl will be so fat and then on Christmas they were gonna kill the fowl and eat the fowl <laughs> oh my god what a crazy memory yeah so that was part of preparation and um, the buying of Christmas clothes as well was preparation for the parents but for kids there was no preparation we never give gifts to anyone nobody gave us gifts in fact our Christmas clothes and Christmas shoes was a gift that was enough for us yes that was enough for us if you didn't eat chicken from January to December 24th and on the 25th of December you didn't eat chicken You shouldn't even tell anyone because that Christmas is not considered Christmas as well as rice and stew. See, they'll prepare every delicacy, they'll prepare a chew, they'll prepare dole, they'll make, make salad, they'll make everything but as far as you don't eat rice and stew and chicken or even jollof rice, that was not Christmas. You need to go and redo that Christmas because it was not Christmas. And the good thing is, in Cameroon we make our jollof rice with um with vegetables with carrots with green beans and it's so colorful so on that day if you didn't eat jollof rice and chicken hey that was that that was not christmas how can you celebrate christmas without chicken eat like chicken rice and stew hey rice and stew was such a big deal sorry guys i'm just i'm not having a structure of this video okay because there is just a lot to talk about these chickens used to taste so good and I remember sometimes they'll kill the chicken, they put it in a very big pot of water, of boiled water, and then they remove the chicken, and then they're plucking off the hair and everything. And when they're plucking off the hair, you're just happy, you're just like, hmm, we're gonna eat this chicken tomorrow. <laughs> you're gonna eat this chicken tomorrow, and you're just so happy. And the funniest thing is the spices were so good, like, just the boiled chicken was so nice. I don't know, there's just, the chicken, in Cameroon and the chicken here is different that we cannot argue it's more organic and yeah but that is it it is what it is oh my god chin 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 was such a big deal like if they didn't make chin chin in your house on Christmas then that wasn't Christmas like chicken chicken and chin chin popcorn hey these are the things that never like they never lack on Christmas Day. another thing too was fried fish there was always fried fish around and <laughs> if someone comes to your house on Christmas Day and you don't offer the person popcorn, chin chin and fried fish, you will hear your gist 
till next year somewhere else like it was just a thing that when someone comes to visit the person they'll just send you to go take a salsa and a salsa is like a little you know this in German they call it cafe unter Tasse and then you just put um, chin chin and popcorn and fried fish and the good thing is you're happy let them send you so you can steal some you know you can eat some or you can hide some <laughs> and yeah it was just so fun here before christmas even on the news and just talking with people that just like oh we want a white christmas a white christmas is a christmas where you're at home and it's snowy outside or there's snow outside and people are like oh we don't have a white christmas this year or blah 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 in cameroon who cares like why who cares about the weather like who even thinks about it's always sunny it's all it's gonna be the dry season so nobody cares about any weather nobody cares about any snow whatever like it's gonna be sunny it's gonna be good and that is it and the good thing is it was always outdoors like after you've received your visitors and everything you're allowed to go out with your brothers and sisters for my case I remember going out with my cousins who we'll go out visit some friends in our neighborhood visit people and so on and so forth and it was really cool because you get to meet a lot of people and you get to eat from different houses I don't know but eating was just such a big deal like you go to visit people to eat <laughs> This is kind of embarrassing because I can't believe I was visiting people to eat <laughs> chin chin and popcorn. <laughs> but hey, if you don't invite someone, don't even dare. Like, <laughs> don't go to someone's house without an invitation. It's going to be really weird. They'll just open the door and be like, what are you doing here? But there in Cameroon, when you knock on someone's door and they see you, they're happy. They're like, oh, you're welcome. Da 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 and you know they just give you something to eat it was just so nice like there was just this love around i don't know but i just felt like we were kind of one we were you you weren't afraid of anyone there was no skepticism there was no distance between you and your neighbors but hey god in europe hmm, <laughs> the probability of you spending christmas alone if you don't have family is 99.99999% like it's very easy to just be locked up in your room especially if you've got no relatives um, around you and that can really be a challenge and I am I'm really sending out all love to those who are spending Christmas this way because it's not easy you hear a lot of stories of people spending Christmas just alone in their rooms or if you're lucky to have friends okay like one or two friends or more where you can go and spend Christmas with them that's cool but there are really people who have nobody like nobody nada in Cameroon or in Africa you can never spend Christmas alone it is so impossible there is I have never like I can't even think someone can spend Christmas alone you're either with your family your cousins with friends like and it's always fun no matter how much money you have no matter how less money you have does that even exist but you understand what i'm saying you can never spend christmas alone into the atmosphere here in europe or in germany you mostly have your jingle bells jingle bells or feliz navidad you know the typical christmas carols would just be playing and blah 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 in cameroon hmm, you're hearing all sorts of music in fact it's like a disco but global disco you know that a disco where the whole neighborhood is it is loud it is everywhere you go to you're hearing music you're hearing everybody's happy everybody's walking around see even people don't have anything to do just go outside they just stand outside they're just talking everybody's doing something it's so active and it's interesting because you get to see different people and you just get to talk and just hang around and just spend time these are the things that were going through my mind and I just said I should come share with you guys. Maybe one or two of you can relate to it, but it's just crazy to see how certain things make Christmas in certain places. Maybe it has changed now, you know, I don't know, but that was my reality when I was living in Cameroon and coming to see that chicken was such a big deal to me. Chin Chin, such a big deal. Christmas clothes, Christmas shoes, just Things that now don't even mean anything to me and even to my siblings, all my siblings are born here. They don't even care about Christmas clothes or Christmas shoes or like food is not even a big deal and I'm just like, whoa, things do really change. Please 
don't forget to subscribe you can find that down here in the red box and take care bye and merry christmas